you're giving acetaminophen to a four-year-old, but is the dose safe or is it dangerously high? In pediatric nursing, dosage isn't just about getting the number right. It's about preventing harm before it happens. So how do you know what's safe and what crosses the line? Let's break it down. Before you even touch a calculator, you need to know what a safe dose range is and why it matters more in pediatrics than anywhere else. Unlike adults, pediatric meds are dosed by weight, not age. That means every med order must fall within a calculated safe range, measured in milligrams per kilogram per day and divided by the number of doses per day. If you skip this step, you risk giving too little to be therapeutic or too much to be safe. Here are three steps to help you calculate the safe dose range. Step one, multiply weight times both ends of the safe dose range. This gives you the total daily low and high limits. Step two, divide by how many times a day the drug is ordered. If the med is given every eight hours, that's three times per day. Step three, compare the ordered dose to that range. Does the dose fall between those numbers? If yes, it's safe. If not, you've got a clinical decision to make. Now that you understand how to calculate a safe pediatric dose range, let's apply it to a real order. The provider has ordered clindamycin 150 milligrams by mouth every eight hours. Your patient's weight is 22 kilograms. The safe dose range is 10 to 30 milligrams per kilogram per day divided into three doses. Step one, calculate the total daily dose range based on the weight and the safe range. Step two, divide the daily range by three since the medication is given every eight hours. Step three, compare the ordered dose to the safe range. Now let's walk through another example together. This one's a little trickier, so follow each step carefully. Provider orders gentamicin 35 milligrams IV every 12 hours. Your patient's weight is 15.5 kilograms. The safe range is five to 7.5 milligrams per kilogram a day, divided into two doses. Step one, multiply the weight by the low and high ends of the safe range to get your total safe daily dosage. Step two, since this med is ordered every 12 hours, divide that range by two. Step three, compare the ordered dose to the calculated safe range. All right, now it's your turn. Can you figure out if this dose is safe or dangerously high? Pause the video here and try it on your own. Then restart the video and see if your judgment matches mine. Did you get it right? Let's walk through it. Step one, start by getting your total daily safe dose. Step two, we're giving this every six hours, so divide by four. Step three, compare the order to your safe dose range. 300 milligrams is dangerously high. Do not give. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you got it right. In pediatric dosing, one decimal point can mean the difference between helping and harming. You're not just solving problems. You're protecting patients. So always pause, calculate, and think it through. And we're not done yet. Next up, we'll tackle pediatric weight-based IV dosages with even more real-world cases. You'll want to be ready. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a dose of clinical judgment training.